Hello guys. Welcome to Data Matters channel. My name is Pawan Kumar. In this video, we are going to see used car prediction model. And we are going in the first step. I am going to import all the libraries required for the analysis. Imported pandas for data manipulation. Imported numpy for mat mathematical operations. Imported MATLAB and C matplotlib and Cborn for data visualization. The next step, I collected the data from my local machine. We can get collect the data from CAG or from libraries. This is the this is the data set of my this is the data set of car data. In this, we can see that we have column names like car car name, year year of purchase, selling price, present price, driven kilometers, fuel type, selling type, and transmission and owner. Now I am going to check selling selling price, fuel type, transmission, unique unique names. In the selling price, we have dealer and individual. In the fuel type, petrol, diesel, and CNG, we can, we are able to see three types. In in the in the transmission, we can see manual and automatic. And the owner owner's type is zero one three. Here you can see that I taken the data in the car variable. Now. Now here I described the data set. In the data set, which is is a numerical column, it is converted into count, mean, standard deviation, minimum, max. Path info will describe the every individual column data type and if there is any present null values or not. Here we can see that we have two columns with float and three columns with int and four columns with object. Applying any whether any duplicates are present in the data set or not. By seeing here, we can see that two duplicates are present. After removing duplicates, in place equal to two, which draw function will drop the two columns which are duplicated in place equal to two, which makes true for the data set. Now, by checking is null any null values present in the data set, there is no null values present here. In the next step, I am going to convert the year column data type into a data type of year. If it is already present in as year, present as in int 64, I am converting into 32 byte. In the next step, I am converting owner and kilometer driven columns data types into into 32. We can see here column four. We can see that year int and int. Owner int that it was converted. In the next column, I am going to see how many unique values present in the year. We have total 299 entries. In that, we have from 2004 to 2017, 2018. Total n unique will give the total number of years, unique, unique numbers present in the year column. Here we have 16 years. In the next system, for future selection, like selecting only important columns and removing car name column, it is not useful in the analysis of the data. So I am removing this column. I am adding another column like car current year equal to 2023 because this year is 2023. And after we know that here, here we have bought here. This is the purchased year of the car. I have current year as present year. Present year. From 2023, we minus 2014 will give me the age of the car. Like I am adding another column like age of car. Here we can see that age of car column added. And the difference is 9. So the age of car is 9. 9 years. Now, the year column is year column and current year is not required for me because I got age of column age of R. So I am removing both the columns in the next step. Here we can see that there is there is no in the next step we see no there is no year column and current year column. We have same we have same number of rows and eight columns decrease ten to eight columns. 
using pandas library from get, uh, using the function get dummies and converting numerical categorical data into numerical data here we can see that we, we get the binary format of the data drop first means it removes the dummy first dummy variable here we can see that we, I, I got the data in boolean format now i am converting them into binary format by taking these column names and converting the d type of the columns into input after converting them we can see that we have the binary format got it finding the correlation between the columns 0 0.85 above, above number will correlation ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 near to 1 indicates that the columns have high relation here selling price selling price means both are same column so it is it's showing 1 having the value 0 0.85 will surely have better correlation and having less than 0 minus less than 0 is having actually correlated having the value here to make minus one is negatively correlated which is not related to that and having the zero value which indicates that having zero indicates zero indicates linear there is no linear correlation between the columns i am importing warnings and i am and ignoring the use warning filters by this we cannot see, we don't see any we don't get any warnings like see having user user warnings like that. SNS that pair part will give me the scatter plot of each column with each each column every column with each and every column by this we can't get uh, we are we are not getting any much information now I'm using C1 library using heat map function which give me the correlation of the data between the columns and not true indicates that presence of annotations cmap indicates color mapping of color map of the data we can see the ranges of the data colored in the boxes in the next step i am going to split the data into two variables like output variable and target variable as y and input variable as x the target variable is selling price we are now, we are going to find the selling price of the user car and the input variable is enter i am taking all the columns which are present in the data frame i am removing the selling price because we taken the selling price in the target column after seeing the what is present in the y column in the target column is only selling prices on the x we can see the present price given kilometers open or age of fuel type fuel diesel type fuel type diesel fuel type petrol selling type and transmission model manual x dot owner will will show me the how many which types of array data present in the column 0, 1, 3 are present in the columns which column which columns are more important to my analyzing the model it, from SQL and from ensemble techniques I am importing extra trace regressor I am taking extra trace regressor function in model variable model dot fit x comma y In the next step, I'm printing the model features importance. The either value, either importance of the value, either importance of the column, we can understand that. I'm graphing the same plots here. I'm taking only top five columns of the important few. Important columns, top five important columns. I'm using plot function using bar. Filter that show me show me the features these are the top five present present price selling price age of how transmission value these are the most important columns in the data 
now i'm split, splitting the data into two types uh, train, training data and testing data i'm importing from sql on model selection importing train test split function x train x test y train y test x comma y test size test size indicates that i am splitting the data into 0.2 it indicates that dividing the data into 80% and 20% random set is y random set will make sure that uh, the, the same data is, which is splitted is continued enter the model but taking the shape of the data of x is 239 of 8, 80% and x test is 60 which is 20% of the data now i am going to build the build the model from sql on ensemble technique i am importing random forest tracer the output variable which we we need is selling price which is a numerical data it is type of indic- predictive model we are predicting the car price so we use random we use regression in that we are importing random forest regressor taking the regressor as a variable correcting the random forest regressor function in the regressor regressor dot fit x train and y train i am fitting the model in the regressor using regressor and predicting here i am train i train the data here in the next step i am going to test the data in the y predict the test data is this is the output now i am going to compare this same output with the our text output using matrix function i imported r2 score r2 score is used to compare the both the values and gives me the how much percentage the data accuracy here we, we, we get that 90% accuracy getting our r2 score it has 90% is a good model now i am going to type first going to build perform hyperparameter tuning to this model to and then to get the better better model using randomized search cv we can use git search cv also but randomized search cv will give me faster calculation better result i am taking parameters as variable in estimator says from 100 to 1000 i in the criterion i am using squared error absolute error poison fredman msc max depth 10 to 50 and minimum sample split 2 5 10 20 50 50 minimum sample is max features auto square root and logarithm these are the these are my parameters performing randomized search cv after fitting the data into training using random cv Here we got the output like fitting five holes for each of ten candidates, totally fifty fits. These are my randomized such that randomized such CV. To find the best fitting model, I am using random CV best params. It gives me best parameters which are fitted here. Here I, I got 700 as best parameter, and square root error as criterion, and the best score I got is 8.0.82. In the next step, I am going to predict, predict, test the predict the output value with the x data using Seaborn using this this two part. I am going to Visualize the test data is is visualized here 
and we got the normally distributed data here with the density plot on x-axis selling price both are normally distributed and visualizing the texture data and predictive data here we can see the linearity presence in the data from scale on import metrics I am importing mean absolute error mean squared error and square root after metrics I, I use it to predict the model whether it is working or not correctly I am using SC x dot head this is the input values I taken the NPR rate 9.5 present uh, present bot price is 9.5 and remain kilometers owner age fuel tap diesel all in all given this is in single array so I need I am converted into 2D format after 2D format I it predicted the value I got 8.2 lakhs by comparing the old, by comparing with original data it predicted it predicted the value is up uh, near to the correct value I given 9.5 as present price and given 15,000 as kilometers here the kilometers is high and the age of car is high and the age of car is low and kilometer is low. so the selling price is 8.2 lakhs we have the 4.7 lakhs so the value we get output as accurately so hence our model will be used hence our model is working properly thank you for, thank you for watching see you in the next video